Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Pisces. This is going to be for your August 2022. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So we're going to take a look at your over energies. Uh, what's surrounding you guys regarding love and the person that you are connecting with for the month of August. And then we will uh, take a look at your person to see what the current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the possible outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know. So um, apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the rules if you want. Also, uh, what else? Uh, this could be with new love, old love, current love. Uh, like I said, apply this to your own unique situation. Okay. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Uh, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Pisces people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right, thank, uh, so um, you guys, let's get started. Over energies for Pisces. What is surrounding Pisces regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for um, August 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Pisces, over energies for Pisces. What is surrounding Pisces regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for uh, August 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Pisces here. All right, page of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You might have those energies in your chart. And the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Uh, some of you guys could be dealing with a couple of people here. We have a ton of cups. Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Well... Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces could be dealing with another Pisces here. So um, what's happening here is that Pisces, I feel like you're dealing with someone here who's very, very, very inconsistent, very flighty. One moment they're solid about their offer. You know, they want love, commitment, long term here with you. And then the next moment they're ghosting you. They're leaving you in the cold here. OK, whoever this is, uh, Pisces, this person's very in and out. This person comes and goes as they please. Okay, I feel like that more so I feel like this person just rushes in for a sex. And I feel like this person tells you what you tells you what they uh, tells you what you want to hear first. And then, you know, they kind of like come in, you know, wow, ba bow, thank you, ma'am. And then they're out the door, that sort of thing. Okay, tell me about this uh, page of wands here. Why is this page of wands here? Two of cups, the knight of wands and the seven of wands here. Whoever this is, this is an individual that's actually blocking out or trying to resist taking things to the next level. Even though they're they're, they're even though they're telling you that, they don't really want that. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles. Wow, we have the Devil here, Capricorn energy, the Ten of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. Um, this is not a very healthy situation to, for you to be in, Pisces. This is a very toxic in, uh, situation. I feel like this person's breadcrumbing you, okay? I feel like this person is, you know, telling you what you want to hear, but they're not delivering what they what what they want to give you. Also, at the same time, this person is, you know, not giving you what you want, but at the same time, they can't let you go. That's the definition of toxic right there. The Two of Pentacles. You're being juggled here by this person. This person might be dealing with other people here. Could be dealing with the Capricorns. How many of the Five of Pentacles here? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? You the Six of... Yeah, you're definitely being breadcrumbed here. Uh, Nine of Cups. You know, I feel like this is an individual that's really selfish, that's only looking for, out for their own cups here. Okay? You know, I feel like this person really enjoys seeing you beg f for them. To beg for them to be, uh, to be there for you or something like that. You know, I feel like the energy of someone here begging to to be for a person to be a part of their life or something like that, to make room. 
Uh, this is not a really great energy, to be quite honest, uh, Pisces. Tell me about the uh, the person that Pisces is dealing with here. What is this person's current true feelings and intentions towards Pisces for August 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Pisces. Salons and the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces here, could be dealing with another Pisces. We have the Strength card and the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Page of Cups, and the King of Cups right here. So, Pisces, I feel like you're dealing with someone here who's completely immature. Their actions are not aligning with their words here, okay? I feel like whoever this is, this is an individual that's keeping a lot of secrets from you. Okay, and you know, the seven swords is not out, but I feel like this person feels like they could get away with their behavior here. Okay, uh, we have the strength card and the page of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And then we have the page of cups and the king of cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You know, I feel like you could be deeply in love with this person or this person's in love with you, but it's just that this person is just all over the place here. I mean, we almost have every single night, almost every single page that's out on the table. This person's just immature, incredibly immature. And that whoever this is, this is an individual. I feel like they've been really honest with you that they, you know, told you that they're non-committal. They're not really ready to commit. But I feel like they're keeping a lot of secrets from you because I feel like you want to know what's going on with this person. If this person's seeing other people, I do feel like this person is. We have the full card here. Aries energy. Tell me about the strength card. With the her uh, hermit, Virgo energy, the page of pentacles and the moon. This person's keeping a lot of secrets from you. When you confront this person, this person runs away scared. Yeah. This person is never going to share their secrets with you, to be uh, to be quite honest, uh, Pisces, okay? Tell me about the page of cups here. Cancer, Pisces energy with that moon. Um, page of cups, seven of pentacles. King of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles here. I don't I don't think this person's ready to move towards a relationship here with you. It's so it's so it's like all over the place. I, I, I'm getting I'm getting confused at this point. Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles here. Seems like this person's trying to distract themselves. I, I don't I don't feel like this person's ready to invest in the relationship. I feel like this person's more invested into the their own selfish needs here. Yeah, I, I do feel like this person's a bit of a scaredy cat, okay? Uh, this person drops bombs, but then when confronted about it, this person doesn't want to admit to it or face it. Outcome and advice here for uh, Pisces regarding their love situation for August 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What else does Pisces need to know? What else does Pisces need to know here? All right, Four of Swords and the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. We have the World card and the Nine of Swords. And then we have the Empress here and the um, Judgment card. You know, I feel like you're going to make a judgment call uh, to end this, to close this out. Because this is unhealthy. Yeah, I just feel like, you know, with the Hierophant, you guys are just not in alignment with each other when it comes to your core values and, and structure here. You know, it's following the rules, you know. Um, you know, committing to someone, you know, uh, keeping your word, that sort of thing. Just this person's the complete opposite of that. Uh, the world card and the nine of swords. This is hard. You know, I feel like this is really hard for you, but you know that you have to close this out because this is creating a lot of suffering in your life right now. We have the empress here and judgment. Yeah, I feel like you're going to make a judgment call to close this out because with the empress here, you're realizing that you're worth so much more, you know, um, so or that you deserve more than what this person is giving you. Okay, um, empress, Libra, Taurus, judgment, Sagittarius, energy, the four of swords. We have the ace of wands. The Hierophant and the Four of Cups, the World, and the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the um, Nine of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, just by you holding on to this individual, this is creating a lot of suffering in your life. There's there's a bit of a trauma bond here. Like I said, if this person won't give you what you want, but this person won't let you go either. But I feel like you're going to make that decision to close this out yourself. Four of Cups and the Ace of Wands.
you know, I, I still feel like someone here still has a lot of passion towards this person, even though this person's like super crappy. Um, I feel like, you know, I feel like Pisces, I feel like you're hoping that this person will change, but I don't feel like this person's ready for that yet. Um, by the time that happens, I feel like it's going to be too late because I feel like you're going to be long gone. King of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles here. Yeah, this person can't let you go for some reason. This person's really controlling. This person definitely has your, uh, has you wrapped around their fingers. The Empress, Six of Swords. Judgment. Yeah, justice. Yeah. So I feel like, you know, I feel like you're going to let this go. You're going to move on from this. You're going to cut this out. Yeah, you're going to cut this BS out. Yeah, it seems like you're going to let this tower burn. Yeah, you're going to let this go. But this the, you, You've been trying to patch up this tower, but you're realizing it's better to allow it to burn and just let this go and move on. Yeah. So, you know, I feel like the universe is stepping in to help you out and I feel like you're heeding those warnings here. Okay. So, uh, Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. Uh, if you guys haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.